we're back. Hopefully you finished this example and you're just checking your answer at this point. That's what I hope. And if you're just copying my stuff down, you're really not going to learn that much. After a while, you're just going to be copying to copy. We have coordinates here. We have our X's and the Y's. And we're going to use the distance formula, which is distance equals the square root of x minus x squared plus y minus y squared. So our x's are 1 and negative 2. So 1 minus negative 2 squared plus the y's, 3 and negative 2. 3 minus negative 2 squared. Minus a negative changes to a positive. So we have 3 squared plus 5 squared. So 9 plus 25. And that equals the square root of 34. See how I did not take the square root off the whole time until I got to the bottom. 34. We can try to prime factor. That's going to be 2 and 17. So not prime factorable. This is simplest radical form. And it equals approximately 5.8. If I asked you for the perimeter of, a, of triangle ABC, you would find the distance of all three sides. So you do this three times. And then you would add them together. But I'm not asking you to do that. All right, last few questions. What is the length of the segment with endpoints 9, 0, and 4, 3? Negative 4, 3. So we have our x's and our y's. Distance equals the square root of x minus x squared plus y minus y squared. So we're just going to plug everything in. x is 9 and negative 4. 9 minus negative 4 squared plus y's. 0 minus negative 3 squared. Again, you should be pretty comfortable doing this yourself and just using mine right now to check your answers. change that to a plus. So we have 13 squared plus 3 squared. 169 plus 9 equals the square root of 178. We can check to see if this is in simplest radical form. And it is in simplest radical form. So we just want the decimal approximation, which is about 13.3. And of course, because it's geometry, you're going to have word problems. Caroline traces out the spiral shown in the figure. The spiral begins at the origin, which is 0, 0. and continues around like this. So she's just doing what I'm doing, tracing this whole thing. The question is, what is the shortest distance between her starting point, which is 0, 0, and her ending point? The shortest distance between any two points is a straight line. So that's 2, negative 1, 2, 3, 4. 4, 5, 2, negative 5. And you're going to use the distance formula to find out how far that is. So pause the video, do the distance formula, and then check your answer with mine.
Hopefully you're still working on it and not just copying me. Because I already know how to do the distance formula, and you need to make sure you know how to do the distance formula. And lastly, a civil engineer is drawing a plan for the location and length of a new underground sewer pipe on a coordinate grid. The pipe on the plan will run from the point A, negative 2, to the point 1, B on the coordinate grid. Which expression is the shortest distance? Well, we can cross off F and G because those are actually naked and the distance formula does not like to be naked. The other two we need to look at. So the distance formula, even without writing it down, we know, well, I'll write it down. We're subtracting the X's and subtracting the Y's. And without even plugging stuff in, we can see here A and 2, those are both an X and a Y, not both X's like the formula is supposed to be. 1 and B are the X and the Y, not just two Y's. So this one's definitely wrong. The last one, it says 1 minus A, and we've been going like A minus 1, but you can go the other way. 1 minus A would be X. and then b minus negative 2, and minus a negative is positive. So choice j is the right answer, which you could do by reasoning or by actually doing the distance formula. Either way, works. All right, the end. I hope you can do the distance formula. Bye.